Senator Rubio, you're a lawyer. Quickly, can you address the issue of whether the Constitution uh, tells us what, who's, uh, who has the power to appoint Supreme Court justices? And then also, the Senate Republicans last year floated an idea of removing the filibuster for Senate, uh, excuse me, for Supreme Court nominations. You seemed open to that. Uh, what's your feeling on that now? Well, let, let me first talk about Justice Scalia. His loss is tremendous, and obviously our hearts and prayers go out to his family. He will go down as one of the great justices in the history of this republic. You talk about someone who defended consistently the original meaning of the Constitution, who understood that the Constitution was not there to be interpreted based on the fads of the moment, but that they were there to, it was there to be interpreted according to its original meaning. Justice Scalia understood that better than anyone in the history of this republic. His dissent, for example, on the independent, on the independent counsel case is a brilliant piece of, of jurist work, and of course, his dissent on Obergefell as well. Number two, I do not believe the president should appoint someone, and it's not unprecedented. In fact, years since a lame duck president has appointed a Supreme Court justice. And it reminds us of this, how important this election is. Thank Someone you. on this stage will get to choose the balance of the Supreme Court, and it will begin by filling this vacancy that's there now. And we need to put people on the bench that understand that the Constitution is not a living and breathing document. It is to be interpreted as originally meant. Quickly, though, on this question. Very quickly, Senator, on this specific question, though, you were once uh, in favor of dropping the threshold that, to 50 not to a majority. You were never in favor of that. No, I've never. There has been, for example, today, according to the changes Harry Reid made, appellate judges can now be appointed by simple okay. majority, but not Supreme Court justices. And I think today you see the wisdom of why we don't want that to change. Because if that were the case and we were not in charge of the Senate, Harry Reid and Barack Obama would ram down our throat a liberal justice like the ones uh, Barack okay. Obama has Senator. imposed on Governor us already. Bush, uh, I'd like to ask you,